For 2950, the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo is continuing its tour of Stanton, landing on the snowy slopes of Microtech. And while the weather outside may be frightful, the offerings at the Tobin Center are nothing short of delightful. Welcome to Whitley's Guide. In the consolidated Outland Pavilion, they're gearing up to unveil Silas's all-new Nomad, a ship that couples a welcome dash of unconventional design with bare-bones, no-frills performance under the hood. I had the powers that be at Whitley's arrange some hands-on time with the ship ahead of its release so I could go on a good old-fashioned excursion. From my very first glimpses of its hull, I've been bit hard by the travel bug. As we prepared for our trip, Jimmy got intimately acquainted with the Nomad's 24 SCU capacity external cargo hold. Well done, Jimmy. Over there with the other ones. Out here, finally free of the shackles of civilization, edible food, and air traffic laws, we were able to really flex the Nomad's muscles. Watch this, Jimmy. Let's test out these triple shield silos we're going on about, eh? Even triple shields are no match for reckless flying. Remember that, kids. How's it looking there, Jim? After sharing a few campfire stories, Jimmy and I decided to turn in under the stars. What was that? Jimmy? Jimmy? The onboard bed provides that extra level of security someone of my stature is used to. And convenient access to the laser repeaters made me rest extra easy. As our expedition came to a close, I couldn't help but feel that I'd tasted true freedom. Which, coming from a person who gets pretty much everything he wants, is saying something. As I spooled up the quantum drive one last time, I knew I'd return to civilization a changed man and that I'd never needed a shower so badly in my entire life. And here we are, Jimmy, safe and sound at IAE 2950. Now, it looks like they're getting ready for the official announcement, so uh, take over, would you, Jimmy? I've got to get over to the VIP lounge before the open bar closes. Back in 2944, we aimed to reshape the dream of spaceflight. Since then, much has changed. 